Hey guys, I'm Cecilia Jr. here, aka Mustache Time, and welcome back to Small Warriors Orochi 4. We are here at Chapter 7, uh, making the story a little bit longer than I was anticipating. I thought the ending would have come by now, but here we still are, so we're going to take on magic to overcome magic. I was testing recording and I had a fix of one thing and now we're here. Anyways, Lu Xun and his allies have launched a fire attack against the Horde defended enemy base. Their plan succeeded and they have managed to bring down the enemy defenses. In order to open the way to Yijus Hill, however, they need to continue and capture other key locations. One such position is defended by Kiramura Tara. Kiyomura is a priest with access to some bizarre magic. Samai, Abe, and Zel Chi uh, step up to tackle this mystic threat. The skills of these two officers, well versed in magic themselves, are able to be tested in full. Let's see, there we go. This land is protected by Kiyomura Tara. There is almost certain to be some sorcery waiting for us. Then we will fight sorcery with sorcery. This seems like a job for you and me, wouldn't you say, Samai? I have no objection to that, but a sorcery contest does seem rather onerous. Perhaps. But we outnumber him. Together, Kimura, I will, will stand little chance. Please, Samai, lend me your strength. <laughs> I'll do what I can not to let you down. There we go, I fixed the problem. Or oh, maybe I didn't. There seems to be a little bit of a lag still. Huh. It's not that bad. <laughs> Oh boy. Playing defensively, it looks like. I don't know why there's a... Nah. I don't know if I'll be able to figure that out. I think it's because it's also trying to read my OBS or something, which isn't even on right now. I don't know. Oh boy. So good. Oh, nice. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Of course we're dealing with these two still. Oh, goodness gracious. Deal with something. Falling behind where I am again. God damn it. Oh well. I've come too far to reset it again. I feel anyway.
easy enough. Move right along. Now they have phantoms. They're just using the tricks that you're using. It's not even that complicated, it seems like. I uh, fixed it again. Without having to turn it off. <laughs> Victory! Beaten out in the field of battle and, and bound like a beast, I know what comes next. Come, end to my life. Wait a minute. We have no intention of doing anything to you. Fighting against you, I learned what kind of man you really are. I know you fought for the enemy reluctantly. Ugh. How easily to see through me. Daji saved my life and I owed her for that. I fought for her in an attempt to repay you that debt. But I simply cannot condone what they are doing. I cannot take part in, in bringing ruin to the world. I have in the full knowledge that I have uh, no right to do so, but will you allow me, Benkai, me to join your forces? <laughs> That's what we hoped you'd say. You okay with that, Benkai? You better believe it, that I'll be standing at Lord Yoshitsuna's side. Then it's settled. From now we're allies. I'll be counting on you. I'm profoundly grateful for your generosity. I will give you... All for your call. I'll give me my all for your cause. Hmm. Not only the enemy have been splintered, but we have earned new comrades. Quite a result. It seem it would seem so. As that's left to do is wait for good news from the other units. Uh oh, so did that assume that I didn't unlock those characters already? Bizarre. Hmm. Because I totally already unlocked everyone in the original. Banded together. The only characters I need are the ones from the ultimate version. Banded together. The battle between magic users ended in a victory for the coalition forces. Furthermore, Yotsitsune Minamoto and Benkai have chosen to switch sides and join in with the enemy heroes. Their next target is an enemy base defended by Himiko, a girl who absorbs the adores Daji. How will the coalition officers break through her defenses? Shingen Takara gathered Shong, Zhong Hua and Zhou Tai with him to head towards the base where Himako awaits. The land we have been tasked with securing is protected by Himako. Do you have an opinion as to how we should attack? 
Frankly, I do not believe we need a plan. We are up against Himiko. How are we to know what one so simple-minded will do? Regardless of the uncertainty involved, I alone will be enough to handle her. I'm especially adept at adjusting my plan of attack according to the situation. You certainly are full of confidence. How about you, Jotai? What do you think? The main camp is vital. Mm, yes, and that is all. Not very communicative, are you? Well, we are certainly a unique assortment of officers. I bring news. The Vanguard have made it with enemy uh, forces. The battle has commenced. Oh dear, it looks like we've been beaten to the punch. Well, I suppose it is time to head forth. Here we go! Yeah, chapter 7 already, it seems like, oh, you didn't play the original game? Here, have... have your characters. Which is bizarre, if you ask me. Himiko angry. She is thinking of a strategy as her people retreat. Okay, tell me to do a thing, I'm gonna do the thing. Oh boy. They outflanked us with a reverse pincer attack. <laughs> they put us in a pincer position, but they went the other way for the main officer. So I don't know if that's called a pincer attack. Ambush to say the very least. Alright, let's do it for the for the big expos. Woo! Clear the zone. Yeah. 
They discovered another ambush. Lovely. Let's go help the other squad out now. Change the strategy. He's probably trying to teach Himiko a lesson and be like, hey, that's how you do it. A proper pincer, pincer attack. Someone left. Oh, there is, apparently. Charge number two. Let's go. Clear it. Shoot him. Himiko is retreated, and the enemy forces are on the run. Everything worked out in the end. Jean Kuo, Jota, you fought magnificently. Jean Kuo, you read the battlefield intellect intelligently, and made wise decisions without relying on pre preconceptions. You showed the true value of thinking of your, on your feet. 
As Fuji Tai, you protected our main camp while placing the enemy under pressure. I can see why you are such a pillar of Wu. Feel free to be more effusive in your praise. After all, Master Shingen, your strategy and Master Zhou Tai's might would have been nothing without my genius. Master Shingen, you fought well. Yes, a little concerned at first, but we managed to do our duty. I only hope the other units have done the same. We received reports from each of our allied units. They have broken the enemy resistance and are currently on their way back here. We can already see the effects of their efforts. The defensive line protecting Idris Chell is in disarray and we are weakening and is weakening by the minute. Then we can finally get close and the enormous tree. There's no sign like the present. Let's get in there. Wait. We may be able to get close to Idris Chell now, but we can't get in I uh, can't yet get inside. What? What do you mean? Having grown so large, it just has produced a protective barrier to defend itself. While the barrier is intact, we cannot make it inside. Then all of our efforts were for nothing? There must be a way, uh, some other way. If there were some means of weakening Idris's power, even temporarily, to remove the barrier. Well, there is one way, isn't there, Zeus? Looks like you and I are of one mind. I guess brothers do think alike. Father, uncle, will you share your plan with us? How can we do this? Let's just slow down for a moment. First, we will wait for Gaia and the others to return. We'll discuss the details after that. Gaia, the goddess of Earth. And that's Gaia. Alright, we'll play the guy level and next time. If you ended up enjoying this part, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out those links in the description. One will head over to my Discord server, the other to my Patreon page. Any donations are greatly appreciated. Until next time, everyone, bye bye.